If you're like me and normally work with images primarily for video and websites, you probably stay in the RGB world. Occasionally though, you may be called upon to produce something for print and printing houses generally require files in CMYK. Now, I'm not gonna go into the whole explanation of the differences between the two. That's a subject of whole other videos and you'll find excellent ones out there on the internet. This is just a quick, simple way to convert your RGB image to CMYK in Photoshop CC. That will work under most circumstances. First of all, of course, open the image up in Photoshop. Now, you'd think, you would think it would be somewhere under File, right? That's where I was looking for it originally. I thought File Export. That's where, logically, I would put it, but no, 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 no. It's under Edit. So you go to Edit, Convert to Profile. There, and it's usually, it shows up this way by default. You could choose Working CMYK US Web Coded Swap version two, whatever that means. That generally works for everything, or at least that's always worked for me. I've never had to change it. Now, if you have something very specific or if the printer wants it in another format, then yeah, go ahead and look for it there. But I just leave it here. Then I choose whether or not I want the image flattened. If it's already a flat image, this will be grayed out, but uh, so I usually have a lot of layers in my images and uh, if I'm sending it to a print house, I generally say yes, flatten it. And there you go. It'll show up right here that it's now a CMYK file. Now, if you are sending it to a printer, unless they specify otherwise, you'll probably want to send it to them as a PDF file. That's easy in Photoshop CC. You just go to File, Save As, choose Photoshop PDF and click save. Now you'll probably get some pop-up warning that you can ignore. And then you choose what version of PDF in which you want to save. Personally, I always use the newest one and I remove Photoshop editing abilities. That's gonna create a smaller file, which is easier to transfer. Click save PDF and you're done.